Hello everyone, Relgan here once again. Today I'm going to show you uh, the CVC style that Ruins of Endian kind of provokes that most Zergs play on Ruins of Endian. This map plays out slightly different from most other maps thanks to these rocks and these rocks and of course these rocks as well. Now, what I mean by that is, it's really hard to bust another Zerg without drops. Of course, drops are possible along the bottom side of the map with Zergling, Roach or Bane drops. But busting through these rocks takes a lot of time and is easily scouted. And if you scout an all-in as a Zerg, it's somewhat easy to react to, unless it's like a 13-12 where you see the links only once they're at your doorstep. So the way most Zergs open on this map is hatch gas pool, unless you want to go for an all-in. You get that fast gas up and <clears throat> try to get out two base muta as fast as you can and as many as you can. Now I'm going to try to explain to you guys how to get there safely. So first of all you see the first overlord, I sent it to his natural, sending it to his main base can lead to overlord loss against a 12 pool. You want an overlord at his third hatchery and you want another overlord at these rocks to see if he destroys them. Then with four fast circlings you can easily kill these rocks. You see that I'm skipping the baneling nest because once the rocks are dead there is no way that he can bust me because he would have to kill the rocks first. Then what you see as well on my side is a super fast lair after the circling speed and two gases immediately thereafter before I even drone my natural completely. I then build a safely baneling nest just because I was not really sure what he was up to but I was already on my way to my really fast lair. I saw that he didn't kill the rock so I was a little bit scared if he might go for an all-in of sorts. Now my follow-up is a spire and as I see that he is going for a very all-in push, I build a couple of spine crawlers and I still keep droning and I take my fourth gas. He is only now starting his lair because he plays a little bit more of an aggressive style with a fast third base while I do not have a third base. Now he prepared his links and banelings for an attack. I'm building my spines at home, spreading them out so banings can't kill them and I got my banings ready to blow everything up. Now at this point you can see why the all-ins are kind of weak on this map. The banings coupled with spine crawlers defend really well against any sort of early game Zerg harass. <coughs> and the follow-up is a really fast spire by me followed with a third base and some circling pressure. He did not really thrown up his third base yet and his all-in failed to do much damage at all. Now you see the mutas are wrecking havoc as they should, as I'm quite a bit ahead. And he's only now starting to make his muta lists. He's making 10 at a time. I currently have 10, of 10 on my own. But the problem is his muta lists do not touch at the same base. I mean, not all his mutalists catch at the same base, so I have a little bit of free time to do a, a lot of damage to the mutalists before they clump up, and if a man should take off one or two, then I'm definitely ahead. He cannot mine gas from his third base, so that's another troublesome thing for him, and as you can see, the clumped up mutalists managed to take off enough of his mutalists before they stacked up, and I eventually managed to get the win. So what I was trying to show with this video is that you can easily tech for a super fast lair, skip the baning nest, destroy the rocks and still be safe against uh, early game pressure like Ling Baning or Ling Roach. Against Ling Roach you can kind of play the same way against Ling Roach Baneling. Of course as well with the spine crawlers, with the Zerglings and the Banelings. I hope this short video helped you understand the CVC meta on Ruins of Endion a little bit better. Of course it's also possible that both players go for a super fast spire in which case you obviously would not build all these spine crawls but rather a faster third base and just drone up a lot and get out these mutalisks out as fast as possible while being as greedy as you possibly can.
as always, thank you guys for watching. If you have any feedback, feel free to give it to me. And I'll see you another time.